Looking ahead to next week, the primary election inches closer in Spokane County. Election day is Tuesday, and voters in Spokane will choose between five mayoral candidates while also voting for a few city council positions. There are some changes this year, including more time for you to cast your ballot. Mayor Kawash is at the Election Center in Spokane with everything you need to know ahead of Tuesday's election. Mayor. The primary election is right around the corner. The biggest thing to know is Washington's elections are all male only. So the good thing to know is it's not that hard to get your vote in either. Voters in Spokane will choose between five mayoral candidates, as Ariana just said. For the first time, though, you can still register and vote up until 8 p.m. on Election Day. Some may think that accepting ballots that late may mean later results, but no, that's not the case. The Spokane County Auditor, Vicki Dalton, says processing is going well, and ballots will still be counted in time with a result coming in as expected by Tuesday night. Many voters are worried that mail-only ballots mean someone may get a look at who they voted for, but Dalton says not to worry about that either. You guys know how I voted. No, we don't. So um, once the ballot comes to us and we verify your signature and we remove the yellow envelope from your white envelope, there's no more name connected to the ballot. So votes are secret. Along with the candidates you're voting for, there are measures that will affect taxes, libraries, fire districts, and more. Dalton also says your ballot will still count even if everything is not filled out. We have asked all five mayoral candidates to tell us in one-minute interviews why they should be the next mayor of Spokane in our online series, May I Have a Minute. You can watch all those at KXOY.com. They'll be posted tomorrow. And right now... The candidates' positions, just look under the local elections tab. In Spokane, I'm Eric Kawash reporting for News Now.